Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the news at 9. The headlines from Minister Narendra Modi underscores the need for the center and all states to work together against the threat of COVID-19 outbreak. Health Ministry says contact tracing of over 6000 people is underway to contain spread of the virus. In Madhya Pradesh activities for new government formation intensify following resignation of Chief Minister Kamal Nath. Four convicts in Nirbhaya case hanged to death. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says dignity and safety of women must be ensured. And legendary Indian footballer PK Banerjee passes away in Kolkata. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has emphasized the need for the center and all states working together as the threat of the coronavirus pandemic is common for all states. interacting with chief ministers of all the states through video conferencing to discuss measures to combat novel coronavirus or covid-19 mr modi said no stone should be left unturned in our common endeavors to fight the virus he asked the chief ministers to ensure that all necessary steps are taken and all advisories are adhered to to ensure safety of citizens in the country at large He said while participation of citizens is necessary to combat the challenge panic needs to be avoided he added that given the global context of spread of the virus in various countries constant vigilance is of paramount importance Mr Modi said the next 3 to 4 weeks are crucial in efforts to contain the spread of the virus and the most important measure for containment is social distancing he requested the chief ministers to ensure effective implementation of the same The Prime Minister also appreciated the steps taken by the states and thanked them for sharing their experiences and giving suggestions. The Chief Minister has briefed the Prime Minister and others about the preparations done till now. During the course of their presentations they requested for augmentation of testing facilities, greater support to vulnerable sections, advancement of financial disbursement for 2020-21 to the states. They also requested for roping in private labs and hospitals in larger numbers. All the chief ministers assured their support and reaffirmed that all states will work together with the center to combat the pandemic. They also thanked the prime minister for the support given by the center to the states in combating COVID-19. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that every Indian should be vigilant in view of the COVID-19 outbreak in his address to the nation yesterday Mr Modi gave nine calls urging everyone to avoid stepping out of homes until it is absolutely essential he said those over the age of 60 should remain inside their homes for the coming few weeks the prime minister urged citizens to follow the concept of janta curfew on sunday from 7 am to 9 pm janta curfew yani janta ke liye janta dwara khud par lagaya gaya curfew 22 march ravibar ko सुबह सात बजे से रात नौ बजे तक सभी देशवासियों को जनता कर्फ्यू का पालन करना है इस जनता कर्फ्यू के दरमियान कोई भी नागरिक घरों से बाहर न निकले न सड़क पे जाए न मोहल्ले में या सोसाइटी में इकट्ठे हो अपने घरों में ही रहे साथियों 22 मार्च को हमारा ये प्रयास हमारे आत्मसंयम देश हित में करते हुए पालन के संकल्प का एक मजबूत प्रतीक होगा Mr Modi said on that day at 5 pm from homes everybody should express gratitude to those working round the clock to keep the nation healthy by standing in the balconies and at the doors of their houses and clap or ring bells for 5 minutes as a show of appreciation highlighting the stress on hospitals the prime minister urged everyone to avoid routine checkups during this time and to extend the date of surgeries scheduled wherever feasible Assuring everyone on the economic front Prime Minister Modi announced the formation of a COVID-19 economic response task force under the finance minister to comprehensively look at ways to boost the economy he also asked everyone to be compassionate and not to cut the wages of those working in homes support staff drivers and gardeners No passenger train will originate from any railway station in the country from midnight to 10 p.m. on Sunday in view of the Janata curfew announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. 
A railway board order said that main and express trains will also stop services from 4 a.m. on Sunday. All suburban train services to be reduced to a bare minimum as well. The passenger train services already on run at 7 a.m. on the day will be allowed to run to the destinations. The order directed all the divisions to short terminate the empty trains. Delhi Metro services will remain closed on Sunday in view of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's call for Janta curfew on that day. Delhi Metro Rail Corporation authorities said the move is aimed at encouraging the public to stay indoors and maintain social distancing. The Confederation of All India Traders, CAIT, has announced complete shutdown of Delhi markets from tomorrow till the 23rd of this month, barring essential services. However, pharmaceuticals, dairy and general consumer goods have been exempted from the shutdown for the convenience of citizens for meeting their daily requirements. The Union Ministry of Human Resource Development has advised states to provide midday meals of food security allowance to students till schools are closed due to the novel coronavirus outbreak, the ministry said this in a letter to the states. The Union Government has banned export of surgical and disposable masks and the material used in their manufacturing in view of the COVID-19 outbreak in the country. The decision has been taken following constraints in manufacturing and supply of masks. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. The Union Health Ministry today confirmed that total positive cases of novel coronavirus in the country reached 223, including 191 Indians and 32 foreign nationals. Out of the total cases, 23 patients have been cured and discharged. Briefing Media in New Delhi, Joint Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Lav Agarwal, said contact tracing of 6,700 people is underway to contain the spread of COVID-19. He said contact tracing is a continuous process and efforts have been made to locate those persons who came in contact with the positive cases. He said the central government is providing every possible assistance and states are empowered to take action against those who are violating the laws enforced to deal with this infectious disease. कुछ लोग होते हैं जो कि पूरे प्रयत्न करने के बाद पूरे परसुएशन पूरे सपोर्ट देने के बावजूद भी जो हमारे को इन्फेक्शन डिजीज मैनेजमेंट में सपोर्ट नहीं देते तो उसके लिए ये एक इनेबलिंग प्रोविजन है हमने स्टेट से कहा है ये सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग मेजर्स इंप्लीमेंट करने बहुत जरूरी हैं आपके पास प्रोसेसेस हैं चाहे वो पब्लिक को परसुएशन के या जरूरत पड़े तो आपको एक्शन अगर किसी एक्ट के तहत लेना पड़े वो दीजिए लेकिन इन डायरेक्शन को आप इम्प्लीमेंट कीजिएगा Mr. Agarwal urged the public to use the 24-7 helpline number 1075 in case of any doubt about this virus. He denied the reported shortage of essential commodities in the country. On the need for adding of private testing labs, head scientist of the Indian Council of Medical Research of Delhi, Raman Ganga Kherkar, said preparedness is required to tackle this disease. एक चीज हमको समझना है प्राइवेट टेस्टिंग क्यों क्योंकि हमको प्रिपेयर्ड रहना है अगर समझो गलती से वो थर्ड स्टेज में गया तो उस टाइम पे हमने अगर शुरुआत की कि हमको प्राइवेट टेस्टिंग फैसिलिटी शुरू करना है वो फिर 10 दिन 12 दिन चले जाएंगे हमको तैयार रहना है उसमें इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि टेस्टिंग का नंबर बहुत बढ़ जाएगा प्राइवेट टेस्ट आने के बाद में क्योंकि वो जिस ढंग से हम टेस्ट करते हैं वो ढंग में तो कोई बदलाव आएगा नहीं वही जो ट्रैवलर्स है वही जो कांटेक्ट लैब कंफर्म Several politicians have put themselves into self-quarantine after singer Kanika Kapoor tested positive for COVID-19. She had returned from London on the 15th of this month and attended a party in Lucknow, which was attended by former Rajasthan Chief Minister Vasundara Raje, her son and MP Dushyant Singh and UP Health Minister Jay Pratap Singh, among others. The three politicians have gone into self-quarantine. Many MPs who had met Dushyan Singh in Parliament have also gone into self-quarantine. They include TMC MP Derek O'Brien, AAP MP Sanjay Singh and Apnadal MP Anupriya Patel. In Rajasthan, curfew has been imposed in Bhilwara district headquarter after a private doctor treating patients tested positive for coronavirus. District collector Rajendra Bhatt said that 27 persons having symptoms have been kept in isolation. Borders of the district have also been sealed to prevent the spread of the virus further. 
The Uttarakhand government has banned the entry of foreigners and domestic tourists in the state to check the spread of coronavirus. The Bangalore Wholesale Cloth Merchants Association has asked its members to keep their establishments closed till the 25th of this month as a precautionary measure. Jammu and Kashmir authorities today directed all teachers to stay at home till further orders as academic work in educational institutions has already been suspended till the 31st of this month. In the festival of the famous Shabarimala temple in Kerala, public will not be allowed in the temple and only rites will be performed. All upcoming exams from 8th to 12th standard and all university exams have been postponed in the state. The Arunachal Pradesh government has barred all visitors from entering the state from tomorrow. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh today spoke to the U.S. Secretary of Defence Dr. Mark T. Esper and exchanged views on the grave situation arising out of the COVID-19 pandemic. The United States today said it was suspending all routine visa services around the world due to the global coronavirus pandemic. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei and President Hassan Rouhani promised today that the country would overcome the coronavirus outbreak just as it had faced down sweeping U.S. sanctions. In Spain, the coronavirus death toll rose to 1,002 today after 235 people died in 24 hours and the number of cases approached 20,000. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has asked the people to self-quarantine for at least another 45 days as the country reported its third coronavirus death and the total number of confirmed cases rose to 464. Nepal has committed 100 million rupees to the SARC fund set up by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to fight coronavirus. Addressing the nation in Kathmandu this evening, the Nepali Prime Minister also announced a ban on all international flights into the Himalayan nation from Sunday till the 31st of this month. The new services division of All India Radio in its bilingual live phone-in program tonight will bring you a discussion under Corona Jagrukta series. Dr. V.K. Paul, member Niti Ayog and Dr. Dwarka Pandey, former Chief Medical Director, Railway Board, will participate in the discussion. In Madhya Pradesh, after the resignation of Chief Minister Kamal Nath, activities for new government formation have intensified. Accepting the resignation of Mr. Kamal Nath, Governor Lal G. Tandon has asked him to work as caretaker Chief Minister. As already reported, Mr. Kamal Nath was to prove his majority in the Assembly at 2 p.m. today on the direction of the Supreme Court. However, he announced his resignation at a press conference before the floor test. The four convicts in the Nirbhaya gang rape case were hanged to death at Tihar Jail in Delhi early this morning. They are Pavan Gupta, Vinay Sharma, Akshay Thakur and Mukesh Singh. The Delhi High Court and Supreme Court last night dismissed a last-minute plea by the convicts, paving the way for the execution. Nirbhaya, a paramedic student, was gang-raped by six men in a moving bus in southwest Delhi in December 2012. Another accused killed himself in jail and the sixth, a juvenile, was released from a reformation home from after serving a three-year term. Reacting to the development, Nirbhaya's parents said the execution will act as a deterrent for future criminals. On the hanging of the Nirbhaya convicts, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that justice has prevailed. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said it is of utmost importance to ensure the dignity and safety of women. Legendary Indian footballer P.K. Banerjee died today in Kolkata after battling prolonged illness. He was 83. The 1962 Asian Games gold medalist was conferred with Arjun Award and Padma Shri. He scored 65 international goals in 84 appearances for the national team. The Sensex of the Bombay Stock Exchange zoomed 1,627 points to end at 29,916 today. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange jumped 486 points to 8,750. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi underscores the need for the centre and all states to work together against the threat of COVID-19 outbreak. Health Ministry says contact tracing of over 6,000 people is underway to contain the spread of the virus. In Madhya Pradesh, activities for new government formation intensify following resignation of Chief Minister Kamal Nath. Four convicts in Nirbhaya case hanged to death. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says dignity and safety of women must be ensured. And legendary Indian footballer P.K. Banerjee passes away in Kolkata. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.